Welcome to an accessibility tour of OverDrive version 3.8.1 on iOS. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. OverDrive offers access to a wide array of books from local libraries and employs a fairly accessible user interface. Before we dive into some suggested improvements, let's take a quick look at why they're important. To get the most out of a smartphone, those who are blind turn on voice feedback. Voice over on. Then they can swipe quickly to different controls on the screen and hear any text that appears. Playbooks, Libby, our digital, OverDrive. Overdrive. Main menu. Button. In order to navigate a screen effectively, it is important that all buttons be labeled. Controls need to be swipeable, and screens must be clear of hidden text. We will now explore three accessibility challenges with Overdrive version 3.8.1 on iOS. We will show a number of unlabeled buttons and the difficulty this results in, demonstrate voiceover speaking in visible text, and highlight the challenges faced when attempting to read ebooks. Several buttons in OverDrive do not have text captions, meaning their function is unclear to voiceover users. A good example of this is found in the browser view, but unfortunately there are several other unlabeled buttons throughout the app. Navigation controls are found at the bottom of the browser view. However, as users swipe through them, voiceover gives no clue as to their function. Button. 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 Those relying on voice feedback to use this app must tap each unlabeled control to find out what it does. This trial and error method makes it much more difficult to learn the app, let alone navigate it with a degree of proficiency. The ebook interface is clunky and difficult to use with voiceover. Main menu. Main menu. Bookshelf. My libraries. Treasure, Treasure Island. Bookmark. Button. To access the table of contents, we must double tap on a paragraph to reveal more options. IT was not, IT was not very long after this that there a black dog appears and disappears. Then tap on the table of contents button. Title menu. Title menu. Table of contents. Button. Table of contents. This procedure is confusing because the user won't know to tap on the screen of text to find more options. There is a disconnect between voiceover's navigation and the text that is displayed. When we swipe through the paragraphs of the book, the screen does not advance. IT was not, IT was not very long. It was one January. Well, I asked him what was. Come here. I took a step nearer. So, when the book is closed and subsequently reopened, the reader's position is lost. It is also not possible to scroll the book using voiceover's three-finger gesture. Unfortunately, backfield interference is another serious concern. Occasionally, voiceover will mistakenly read text and controls that are no longer visible. We refer to this phenomenon as backfield interference. It occurs when new controls are painted over existing ones without first clearing the screen of its old content. Here, we'll demonstrate one area where backfield interference is prevalent. It's important to note, though, that this issue does crop up randomly and persistently throughout the entire app. In the ebook reader, once we tap the title menu, a list of sections is exposed to voiceover. Title menu. Title menu. Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Empty list. Bookmarks. Endnotes. 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. However, clicking on them doesn't activate anything, which is quite confusing. 30. It is necessary to double tap on the table of contents button first in order for these sections to activate when clicked. Being prompted to interact with controls that do not exist represents a level of frustration rarely experienced elsewhere. Please ensure that each screen of your user interface is free and clear of old controls and text. It takes a lot of time and hard work to produce an app of this caliber, and we appreciate your willingness to explore increasing its accessibility. 
The modifications requested here can be made without impacting the visual look and feel of the interface, but will be greatly appreciated by those reading your content with speech.